Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe. Word of the day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. There is no getting around a word like commandments. God's commands are a demand, not a suggestion. We're in today in the book of Deuteronomy 27 and 28, and the verse of the day is Deuteronomy 27, 1. Then Moses and the elders of Israel charged the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you today. Word of the day is commandments. It is a Hebrew word, mitzvah. It means law, ordinance, precept. The Dictionary of Biblical Languages with Semantic Domain says, An authoritative directive, either written or verbal, given as instruction or a prescription to a subordinate. This word prescription is illuminating, isn't it? If a doctor prescribes medication like an antibiotic for an infection and we don't take it, we suffer for it. Why wouldn't we follow his orders, right? Well, in our reading in Deuteronomy today, Moses is once again encouraging the people to do things God's way. His way is best. Obeying the commandments was not intended to be burdensome, but to be a bridge by which the people could relate rightly to God. Occurring some 213 times in Scripture, the commandments of God are central to rightly relating to Him. In the Old Covenant, a relationship with God was also by faith, and the commandments were the means of rightly relating to God. But God's people could not fulfill them, so God did so Himself through His Son. This does not mean that the commandments are obsolete or that believers today should take that for granted and think that we can continue in sin. As Jesus said in Matthew 5, 17-20, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Moses told God's people to write the commandments on stones so they would not forget them. We are kind of like them, aren't we? We need reminders and we need to not compromise or stray from what God has said or lean on our own wisdom rather than God's. Reading our verse of the day in a little bigger context, starting at Deuteronomy 27, verses 1 through 3. It says, Then Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I am commanding you today. So it shall be on the day when you cross the Jordan to the land which the Lord your God is giving you, that you shall set up for yourself large stones and coat them with lime, and write on them all the words of this law when you cross over, so that you may enter the land which the Lord your God is giving you, a land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your fathers, promised you. The commands remind us of what matters most. God's commands serve as a way of reminding us of what it is like to belong to God. He is holy, and as members of His family, we are to be holy too. Following God's commandments does not save us. Jesus did. James 4.17 offers a good principle when we are in doubt as to whether we are following God's commandments. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. God has not called us to legalism, but to a relationship where we walk in His ways, not our own, by His tremendous grace. What does obeying the commandments look like for us today? How do you remind yourself to follow God's word? There is no getting around a word like commandments. God's commands are a demand, not a suggestion. Put God's word in front of you. Influence your soul to do things God's way. Father knows best. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Nehemiah.